Welcome. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can automate your Google business profile posts with AI. And if you don't know, you can go watch this video right here, which basically is a step by step course on how to do local SEO, how to rank first on Google Maps and get more clients to your business. Part of it, part of the whole process is posting on your profile. So this is a living entity, like a listing entity, right? And one of the ways you make it rank first on Google is, of course, reviews, photos, videos. Again, go watch this video that breaks all that down. But part of it, again, is your posts, your postings. Now, in a world of AI, right, you should be leveraging AI. It just saves you so much time. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can automate this stuff right here, right? How you can have it so it automatically pushes posts here with valuable content that link to your site, right, to your Google My Business profile on autopilot. Okay, so for that, I'll bring in my friend Carvalho, which is going to show you step by step how to do it. So let him break it down and I'll see you at the end of the video. Cheers. Hey there, it's Carvalho and today I will teach you how to integrate Journalist AI with Google Business Profile page, okay, or formerly called Google My Business page. So with this integration, you will be able to have the articles you generate on Journalist AI summarized by AI and then published automatically on your Google business profile. So to for this workflow, we will use um, two external tools, okay? We will use the first one is Zapier, all right? And we already have some tutorials uh, teaching you how to integrate journalist AI with Zapier, which is a no-code automation tool. And we will also use um, the OpenAI platform, okay? Um, the OpenAI platform, and I will teach you in a minute how to do this. So the first things first, you need to create an integration on Journalist AI with Zapier, okay? I will leave the tutorial link uh, in this documentation page so you can learn how to do it. It's a very simple process, all right? And so, yeah, I've just went ahead and created mine. It's called my GBP integration, okay? Um, and now we will need to go back to Zapier and this is where we'll start configuring the, the workflow, all right? So uh, pretty much what this means, it's every time an article on Journalist AI is published to this GBP Zapier integration, uh, this will, in on Zapier, this will trigger an action, all right? And this is what we're gonna do now, we're gonna configure these actions, okay? So for the trigger, it's a, it's a Journalist AI, uh, in the trigger event, it's a new article. So every time a new article is published to this integration and we will add a step here, all right? And for this, we will search OpenAI. Here it is, OpenAI ChatGPT. And, um, and for the action event, we will put, we will choose um, summarize text, exactly, it's this one. Um, now, we have to, to connect our ChatGPT OpenAI account with Zapier, all right? And that's why we need to come here to this uh, OpenAI platform, all right? If you don't have an account, you can create one for free, all right? I, I have one already, so I will just log in with it. So continue with Google, let me just choose an email address. And I don't know why this is not working, but it should be. All right, it was just a minor bug. Uh, once you are um, here on your OpenAI platform, you'll, you will see a dashboard just like this, all right? But before, let's just went, get back to Zapier and we will click here where it says sign in, all right? And as you can see, it will ask us for an API key, okay? And to configure this API key, <clears throat> you will have to come here to your OpenAI dashboard, all right? We'll click here where it says dashboard. And on this sidebar, you can see this tab right here called API keys, okay? We're gonna click here. We will click here to create a new secret key, okay? And for, just so I keep everything organized, I will uh, call it uh, GBP uh, Journalist Integration. All right, for the project, you can leave it default project and the permissions, you're gonna concede all the permissions. So yeah, we create the new secret key and this is the API key we need to copy and paste it here on our Zapier. All right, so we'll just paste it here and for this organization ID, you can just leave it uh, in blank, all right? And we will click yes, continue to chat GPT. So yeah, once we do that, we have our, um, our ChatGPT account connected already with Zapier. 
and we will have to click here where it says continue. All right. Um, now, for the text to be summarized, you will click here on this plus uh, icon, and you will have the. Um, you, we will select the title, okay, and the content. So as you can see, it will take the title into context and it will summarize the the, the content of the article itself. Um, all right. Next, what do we need? Uh, okay. Um, for the model, we can go with the GPT for Omini. That's all right. And for this, you just leave it like that. All right. So recapping text to be summarized, article title and article content. Okay. And we leave this in blank because it's not needed. Um, now we click continue and you can test a step. All right. So now we will like read the one of the articles you have on your journalist account uh, published to Zapier and you will summarize it. So let's just test to see if this is fully working. Okay, summarize text, uh, marking as we step in. Okay, as you can see, we have the article here, but it's summarized. Yeah, summary. SAS marketing 2005 requires adapting strategies. Okay, you can, you get the point, all right? So <clears throat> after this, we will click continue, all right? And our step is now completed. And finally, the action um, needs to be configured. And this action will be your like Google business profile page. Okay. So we will click here and we will, we will search for Google, Google business profile. We're going to click here. And for the action event, we will choose create post. Okay. So I think you're now starting to understand how this will work. Every time you publish an article to the Zapier integration, you will have ChatGPT summarizing it, and then you will have it automatically published on your Google Business Profile. Um, finally, we need to connect with the, we need to connect our Google account. All right, this is a, a, a Google sign in. I will just log in with this account where I have a, a Google Business Profile. Okay, we will give all these permissions, and you will see that your account is not connected. Now, next step, we need to configure this uh, Google Business Profile, okay? And the location, uh, I only have one right now, but you might have like under one Google account, you might have uh, multiple uh, Google Business Profiles, okay? And you can choose which one do you want to publish. Uh, in this case, I only have one. For the summary, we will click here on the plus and we will select this, all right, this, the, the summarized text in ChatGPT, okay? So we just click here. I don't know why is it bugging. Okay, and we will use exactly the summarized text. As you can see, we'll click here on the summarized text. Oh, I did it twice, okay? Now for the topic value, uh, Google Business Profile has three types of, uh, of of posts and we will choose the standard one. Okay. For the action button type, uh, you can have something like uh, learn more. Okay. And you can use the article URL or you can use, for example, your, your website here on the action button URL. You can put like my URL or my website.com. Okay. And for the photo source URL, which is which will be the main image of your GBP post, we will select the article thumbnail. Exactly, here it is, article thumbnail. Oh, I put it twice again. All right, and that's it. Okay, now we just click continue. Uh, you can like review all these all these parameters to see if everything is well configured. Okay. And now we can test the step. A request content. Okay. Probably I did something wrong here. Let's pause this. All right. There was a little small bug before, but uh, um, we just tried our test. Okay. And as you can see, it should be here. Let me just try to find it. Or I can actually just go to my to my GBP to my GBP. Um, account. Let me just try to find it. All right. And as you can see here, 
this is the the gbp page okay and if you scroll down to the articles you will see that we have our article summarized here and you will have this call to action button that in this case i i redirect it to mywebsite.com but um, in your use case it can be and it should be your your website or the article all right um so yeah this is the this is the tutorial guys hope it was helpful let me know if you have any questions or if you need any all right there you go super simple go out and apply it again don't forget you can go watch this video right here that breaks down all this in more nuance because just doing this won't really rank you first there's a lot more stuff you need to do to rank your first your business first on google so go watch this course that's a step-by-step -step, i think two plus hour course on how to do local seo i'll leave it down below in the description and in the pinned comment thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one cheers